Churches like this one are considered by many to be the heart and soul of the community. And on the North End, Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church has played that role for more than 120 years. We have had to be so much for so many. Uh, because of our particular predicament as African Americans in America, uh, the church in the black community is more than just a worship center. It's a community action center, it's a social center, it's a political center. And it was put to good use during segregation when African Americans, especially in the South, were faced with so many obstacles. 73-year-old Gwen Ferguson is the church's executive assistant and Sunday school teacher. What words do they use in praise God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ferguson says she remembers what it was like growing up around here during the 1940s when simply stepping outside the neighborhood could lead to tragedy. What I remember in crossing the boundaries, most of the time you would be, especially if it was at night, uh, you would be arrested for being in an area that you were so-called not supposed to be in. The first school for African American children was housed right here at Tabernacle. Later, during the 1960s, the church hosted prominent civil rights leaders like Coretta Scott King. Today, Tabernacle is a mosaic of old school tradition. And Generation Next. And on any given Sunday, they're still packing them in. It would be very difficult for me um, to attend another church other than Tabernacle. Um, I grew up in Tabernacle. Um, this is my church, it was my family church, and I just can't see where I will fit any place else other than here. And she's not alone. Y'all be tired, so move your feet. Sharday McQuay is working towards her PhD at Florida A&M University in Tallahassee, but she comes back to West Palm Beach every chance she gets to help lead Tabernacle's young dance troupe. So I grew up dancing with Tahila from an itty bitty child around the age of six or eight. The girls she's teaching now range in age from 12 to 21. Their talent is used to convey spirituality. It's a dance trance, as we call it, to where we allow the music and the movement that we're doing to take over. Choreography like this also helps the dancers connect the dots between a deeply troubled past. Think like your grandma, your great grandma, whoever was the eldest in your family, eight isn't up. And struggles that continue today. And they're definitely counting their blessings that this church has come a long way, surviving setbacks that seem to have made it stronger in the long run, rebuilding after a devastating hurricane. Constructing a brand new education center right across the street, trying to serve as a beacon of light for whoever needs it. It gives the community that peace that, you know, there is somewhere here to turn when times do get hard hoping to be an inspiration for many years to come. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for TV 18.